A big thank you to Aura for sponsoring today's video. I have found some insane Sims 4 hacks. Today, we are testing all of them. So this is a really underrated item in The Sims 4 called Lindsay Smart Speaker, which acts like a home device like Alexa. It can change your lights, play music, trivia, tell jokes, blah, blah, blah. It can basically do a ton of things. I knew this object existed, but I had no idea it could do so many different things, including setting up a wake up routine, asking about secrets, and you can see it also teaches you Simlish. So it seems to be in base game, as I said, Lindsay Smart Speaker. I believe one of the producers, the big producers of The Sims 4 is called Lindsay. Maybe it's a reference, who knows? So if we click on it, well, it actually already has a lot of stuff to start with. Should we ask for a joke? It is basically like an Alexa. Right, Satch on Sims, Sim. There we go. Oh my God, he's literally having a conversation with the speaker. That is a little bit psychotic. <laughs> Must be chronically lonely. Is it raising up his social need? If we talk with it, oh, it doesn't raise up our social need. It does raise up our fun need. And uh, oh my God, it's actually in our socials panel. <laughs> we can also yell at it, but what I would like to do is raise up our friendship level with it really high. You can ask it to play certain music or play something random. It is basically like an Alexa. You can order the maid, pizza repair and gardening service. Oh, now we can insult more interactions popping up. Although I don't want to be insulting. I want to be nice. So I got our relationship level all the way to the top. We are good friends with the smart speaker. Talk about being chronically online. <laughs> Bloody hell. Ask about, I want to ask about a secret. Lindsay, the smart speaker, what is this secret? I want to know. Got a smart speaker in the real world. Try saying any of these simlish words to it. Farble, doofka, chumcha. I actually don't have an Alexa. Guys, if you have an Alexa or a Google, whatever. Say these words to it, please, and tell me what happens. Imagine if something actually happened. And we can set a wake up routine, daily affirmation. So let's try go to bed and wake up and see if it actually happens. Nighty night satch on Sims in The Sims. Oh no, he's woken up. Oh my God, I look hot in The Sims. <laughs> I don't look this hot in real life. I wish I did. Oh, it's because he's hungry and he needs a toilet. Oops. Oh my God, the speaker, just as we were sitting by it to eat, it said, I noticed that you could do with some time Hiding up. So I placed a request for a free maid. What? Your maid will arrive on Monday at 10.05. What the hell? That is insane. So we've got a free maid. That is such a cool hack. Oh my God. Okay, we haven't got a daily affirmation, but it's just said, I noticed that you haven't eaten in a while. So I ordered a pizza. It's on its way, but don't worry about paying. This one's on me. This is so OP. Oh my gosh. It's 7 a.m. And oh my God, the pizza's here. <laughs> We've got a pizza at 7 a.m. That's a little bit embarrassing, actually. We've come out in our underwear and we've got a pizza. Oh my God, Satch on Sims, treat yourself, mate, to a pepperoni pizza. You're welcome. Thank you, Lindsay Smart Speaker. I didn't get my daily affirmation, but I got my pizza. I think that's a much better deal. Genuinely mind blown about this hack. If your build is all right angles, you can use this roofing method to get a roof that looks decent. Please tell me, because my roofing is always awful. We're going to start with a hip roof piece and cover the largest possible part of your build. For me, that's going to be right here. Now you're going to adjust the eaves and the pitch to whatever you need. Copy a roof piece, move it in one direction until it runs into another wall, and then keeping contact with that wall that you just ran into, resize that roof piece so that it lines up with this one. If it's too small, you'll see a valley. Don't want that. Pull it in so that it lines up. Right. Move it faster. Copy. Move. Resize. Good. So we do it to all of them. Weird bits like this. Copy. Move it in one direction and resize it so that it lines up. And oh. copy. Move in one direction. I never would have thought of doing that. Making roofs is very difficult in The Sims 4, but I have a very good feeling about this one. I think it's going to work out really well. So I have built this monstrosity of a build and we're going to be testing the hack. So you use the hipped roof piece over the entire large bit or the central area. Lower the roof to what I want and bring the sides out. We copy it and bring it over to the bit at the end. Bring it into the size of the actual room and then make it so that this triangular corner seeps into the main roof so it doesn't leak out. Okay. And then we repeat for the next area. So again, just copy it directly over horizontally. Move these bits in. Same over this side. Or oh, this side will be tricky because it's coming out a bit at the end and I don't know how to deal with it. Maybe we do something like this. Oh no, see I've messed this up. <laughs> I think I've messed 
messed it up. No, I didn't mess it up. Okay, this is what you do. Firstly, you copy it over this way, bring it in, there we go. And then you copy this bit over again, and then you move that in, and then you bring it across. Okay, looking good. Next up, we do the same over here. Bring this right over, bring it into this side, move the corner over to the middle. Then we've copied that one over this side. It's like an infectious parasite, the way it just moves around. <laughs> so there we go. Oh my God, that's actually roofed really, really well. That's genuinely a perfect hack. And then you could just add the regular trims, add your little platforms, add a half gabled roof over the platform, just to make some kind of decking. Now, obviously this house is absolutely bizarre because I made it in about five seconds, but it goes to show how easy it is to just roof houses. This is honestly an incredible hack. Love that one. Before we take a look at the next hack, I'd like to introduce you to today's sponsor, Aura. Aura is an all-in-one app for mindfulness, well-being, and sleep. Aura is trusted by over 7 million people and has the world's largest mental wellness content library and community. I'm sure a lot of you guys can resonate in that lately I'm just feeling like I'm running on empty. And then by bedtime, suddenly my mind wakes up and I have a million different thoughts running around my head and it's so difficult to sleep. Thankfully, discovering Aura has made such a big difference to my sleep. Whether you're in a rush and just looking for a quick 10 minute mindfulness meditation or you're looking for an hour long body scan for sleep, Aura basically offers everything that you could ever want. My favorite part of the app is the sleep meditations. They have so many to choose from, all of which are different lengths. You can get started on Aura Health for free by checking out the link in my bio. Not only do you get a free trial of Aura, with my exclusive link, you also get a 25% discount. But this is only available for the first 500 people, so be quick. And you know, the Aura app is a best of Apple award winner with over 30,000 five-star reviews, so you know it actually works. And especially if you are anything like me with sleeping problems or overthinking. Thank you again to Aura Health for sponsoring this video. Make sure you check out the link in the pinned comments. Otherwise, let's get back to the video. So this one is a clutter hack, which is actually really cool. I can't play the audio because it has copyright music, but basically she's saying how it's difficult when you can't place things on certain shelves. And if you try to raise it up with the nine key, it often floats. So apparently this is genius. Okay, if you have the dream home decorator pack, you get this box and you put stuff in the box and the box will basically fit any object. It's really versatile. And then using the Alt key, you can freely drag it down to the height of the shelf itself. And then you can just drag it across onto the shelf because unfortunately, a lot of objects will not clip onto shelves naturally because they're way too big or the game coding recognizes it is too big, even if it's not actually that big. So this is our kitchen in our bizarrely shaped house. And you can see we have two shelves here. So we take the Dream Home Decorator Cube. Although if you don't own Dream Home Decorator, it seems there's a similar one in high school years, which I believe would work just as fine. So smaller clutter like this flask will very easily go on the shelves. But these pots and pans, for example, the game won't let you put them on the shelves, even though they could probably fit. So we pop it in the box, make it fit. We drag the box so the base is at the same base as the shelves here. And then holding alt, we drag it onto, oh, we can't drag it onto there. Okay, do you know why? It's because there are counters directly under it and the base game is trying to basically pin it to this bottom counter. So what we do in this situation is we can actually just move the counters away temporarily. And then we hold the alt key and we can freely drag it on here. That is perfect. We also can't place a bread bin down. So I'd like to pop a bread bin on here. I'm actually gonna size it down with the left bracket key too, and then pop that on the corner of the shelf off amazing. All these spices as well. I want to put the spices up here. So we bring the box up here, bring this over, drag it on there. Perfect. We may as well put all the condiments up on here too. At the bottom as well, I want to pop these spatulas on here. And then going back to the top, I'm putting some kitchen roll, although it's a little bit big. If I size it down, there we go. It fits in a lot better. And then we can delete the box, move the counters back in their place. 
I've just added some more generic kitchen clutter in here. It looks like an Ikea showroom. Look at these shelves though. They look so much better. Absolutely love this hack. So this is another tip by the same creator, Dr. Ashley. She is showing how you can use this base game fireplace, the one that's not actually a fireplace, but turning it into one. So we put move objects on and then we get a room divider, which is insane. Size it down and it looks like a fireplace fence. What are they called officially? Not fireplace fences. You know what I mean? That is such a cool idea. She's also done another idea where you put plants all around it. And this is just to jazz it up a little bit with lights behind it and paintings there too. Another great one. This one is simply putting candles in front of it and turning it into kind of like a cozy space. Another really cool one. This is just so creative. I would never think of this. So here is the fireplace. It came with the free happy holiday pack. I just made this a little living room space. This really is starting to feel like an Ikea showroom in here. So the first one, she got a divider. Now I believe she specifically used this city living one, sized it down, and it does fit very, very well. Although obviously the issue is it's still a brick wall behind it. Although one extension to this hack is if you go on the gallery, I have an idea, go over to rooms. If I type in fire painting, maybe this will work. We place the room down, take one of the paintings, chuck that in there and it looks like a fake fire. Put this in front of it. You wouldn't know any different. Genuinely love that. We we'll pop this picture up on here. Also, I want to put some plants like she did. If I grab this one, although it clips, it clips to there, which is annoying. Although a tip that she found is if you get a small planter box and you place it basically on top of every single node, I believe it stops the game from trying to place more things there. So I'm going to take this one. I like this one. Bring it up a little bit. Chuck that down there. Oh my God, I love that. I'm going to grab this plant, size it down because it's huge. Put that on there. And then of course, we delete all of these on top of here. I've decorated it a little bit with some cats and dogs and other things. Oh my gosh, I love this. It looks amazing. Another very good build hack. We're on a roll today. So this one is a cottage living hack. So if you get the animal shed from cottage living, okay, and you go into wall decorations, you can actually put wall decorations onto the shed. Something I had absolutely no idea you could do. How do people find these things out? Like I would never even think of doing that. So now our IKEA showroom has an animal shed of all things. <laughs> so if I go into wall decorations, can I, oh my God, you can actually put anything there. I can put a light switch on it. <laughs> can I put a little chicken on it? Oh my God, you can put a chicken on it. That's actually cool because you could distinguish between a llama shed and a cow shed. But being more realistic, if I size this down from Snowy Escape. Maybe you could use this. Looks like gardening stuff. This comes from Get Together, which looks cool. I mean, the aprons, no, they look a bit weird. We're not having aprons. You can attach like weird things like this, which really don't suit it. Oh, look, I can attach this from the Horse Ranch pack. That looks really cool, actually. I love that. But it doesn't clip to the floor necessarily. It clips upwards. So if I try and put this trellis, it looks weird. I would have to hold the alt key and plop it down that way instead. But you can put anything. You want a fire extinguisher on your coop? <laughs> Why not? Oh, I could put a little spider on it. Genuinely love that. That is so cute. So another hack that I love. So this next one is a cast hack. Now this one genuinely blew my mind. So we all know you can resize the ears, right? But if you go into detail edit mode, you can actually change the lobe size. I had no idea you could do this. And look, you can even switch them and rotate them around. But one other thing that she showed is that you can actually change the neck. I had no idea you could do that. Since when could you change necks in this game? <laughs> and she also showed, okay, how you can change the length of the feet. So goodbye Ikea house. So I want to do the ears first. Genuinely had no idea you could do this. Oh my God, you can literally bring the lobes up and down. What the hell? Honestly, like how do people find this out? And then if I move left and right, you can change the angle of the ears too. Genuinely had no idea. The other thing was the neck. You come out of edit mode and you can, oh my, like you could just move it back and forwards. Shanice, how do you feel about your new neckline? Are you happy? Because I knew you could do it sideways like this. It just didn't cross my mind that you could do it the other way. The other thing that she showed off as well with the feet, let me take her Ugg boots off. I knew you could move from side to side to change the general size, but I had no idea you could change them lengthways. Since when was that a thing? I genuinely never knew this. Like we can give her Shanice, 
little stubby feet. <laughs> Look how little her feet are. Or, of course, we can make them huge and long. Thanks again to Aura for sponsoring today's video. You can get started completely free by checking out the link in the pinned comments. Everybody has access to the seven day free trial and the first 500 of you will get the extra 25% discount. So don't miss it out. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching today's video. I will see you in the next one.